Welcome to Two on the Six on Rugby World TV. It's time to take a look back at the last game of round three of the Six Nations, Scotland against Ireland at Murrayfield. Was Scotland's win a consequence of Ireland's wastefulness or the home side's doggedness? One thing that has to be said is that Ireland's line-out really didn't fire and they failed to convert any of their territory into points. Too many times in the first half, Ireland went for the corner and for a try instead of just taking the points and it would have won them the game. The key moment for me came two minutes before the end when Scotland just turned the ball over after Ireland were hammering their line. It summed up the match, Scotland's defence trumping Ireland's wastefulness. Jim Hamilton was a colossus today for Scotland and disrupted Ireland's line-out ball all day. He's often labelled as an enforcer in the Scottish pack and if the Lions are looking for a similar character, then Big Jim could be on the plane to Oz. Do you think Ireland deserved to lose that game today? I didn't want them to lose, but they but couldn't they close it. Yeah. They couldn't close it. Two missed tries, three missed kicks. Okay, so are you surprised that Scotland won that game today? Very, actually, yeah. Do you think it was a matter of Scotland being good or Ireland being poor? I think Ireland were more poor. Um, although Scotland let away too many penalties and stuff like that, and they probably should have been penalised a bit more. Um, but the amount of territory that Ireland actually had and then didn't do anything with, do you think you suffered with so many injuries? Is that a problem for Ireland? You got a lot of key players. Yeah, we got we Sexton from the yeah. last game, which was massive. That was huge. Invented. Huge. Oh, Gary should have started. Yeah, we should have put him on. Yeah. The young guy, Paddy Jackson at 10, maybe shouldn't have started. He's just not there yet. That's the first time Scotland have won back-to-back -back games for about, <laughs> for about 10 years. Do you think they can keep it going another home game against Wales in two weeks? Fingers crossed. Um, Wales haven't been that good, to be honest. Um, so, quietly, optimistic. Make sure you follow at Rugby World Mag on Twitter and me at TMAG Sport. We've got another break in the Six Nations next week, but make sure you tune in next time.